how do I talk to my husband about my MS? So I have MS. The symptoms are beginning to get bad and I'm often debilitated. My husband has been absolutely wonderful about it all. Supportive and helpful he's done everything he can to take care of me and has never shown any resentment for it. I can't really have sex anymore. It's just too difficult and too painful for me but I don't think it's fair to ask my husband to never have sex again. I bought up the idea of opening up the marriage for him but he won't hear about. He says he doesn't want anyone but me. Sweet right? Well here's the problem. My husband is in denial about my condition. He still believes I'm going to get better and we will one day resume our sex life. I won't and we won't. But he is holding on to the hope that some miracle cure will come along or some other miracle and I'll get better. He still hasn't accepted that this is permanent. There is no getting better. I'm only going to get worse. I need to get him to understand that our lives are never going back to what it was. I'm also scared that when he really realizes that this is permanent he won't be able to handle it. How can I help him? Simply put. Therapy. This is a traumatic life-changing illness both of you should be in therapy to help you cope and marriage counseling to develop tools to handle this. He's going to really need it when caretaker fatigue starts to set in. Therapy therapy therapy. I am an occupational therapy student who has learned about this during my coursework, and I am by no means an expert. But I just want to provide a different point of view for you that there are modifications and accommodations you can make in your life, not just your sex life that can help you live your life meaningfully and to the fullest. Having MS does not mean that you never can have sex again. Have you considered seeing an occupational therapist? Perhaps they can help you think of strategies that fit into what you and your husband want. Some examples include adaptive devices or energy conservation techniques. As mentioned by other commenters, therapy will also help you both work through this. There will be support groups for MS sufferers and their families. Find one. Your hospital probably has a list. Also go chat to R. Multiple sclerosis. Couples therapy and even including him in your doctor's appointments might help him see the light. Speaking from experience, send your neurologist a message through your electronic medical record. Ask him to discuss this issue with your husband at your next appointment. Emphasize that the explanation needs to be clear and unequivocal that no cure currently exists and that your medications are disease-modifying and hopefully will slow the progression of the disease and can't be construed in any ways a cure. Your husband is either in denial or doesn't understand your condition and the purpose of your meds. Hopefully hearing the truth from your neurologist will clarify your situation for him. It's possible he just doesn't want to have sex with other women. We often characterize men as being willing to bang anything with a pulse, but some men find prostitutes reviling. Infidelity, even if you approve of it, can also be like that. I think you're right that you need to explain the severity of MS until he understands it, but instead of pushing him towards seeking other women, it might be more beneficial to find out why he's reluctant. The other consideration is that he might see it as a trap. Asking your husband if he wants to open up the relationship is like the ultimate, do I look fat in this dress, question. I have RRMS, or had. I got the blood stem cell transplant about seven years ago, and I don't have a single sign left of the whole MS thing to be honest. This might not help you with your problem right now in this post, but it is so heartbreaking to read the hopelessness and I just wanted to offer you at least some little hope. Your post doesn't say if you got RRMS. SPMS or PPMS the latter version is not helped by the HSCT unfortunately. Counseling. For better or worse. You both seem like wonderful human beings and I am so glad you have each other. My partner has MS too. And we understand that this might be a possibility someday. We've gone long periods without sex just because he feels too fatigued to enjoy it. And even if one day we can't do penetrative sex, I know I wouldn't want an open relationship either, he's the only one I want to he with. There's still a lot of ways to enjoy intimacy with each other, even if penetrative sex isn't possible. Can you suggest some other alternatives to him? I love that you're honest about his needs as well and are wanting to open the marriage. MS doesn't get better but there are medications to slow the progression. Best of luck to you. My wife was diagnosed with MS seven years ago and sounds similar. 
We used to have a good sex life but not anymore. Problem is that because of her MS, her clitoris feels absolutely nothing. Completely numb, just like her toes and fingertips. So with zero sexual response, she has zero interest in sex. She seems angry and combative all the time now, and after 34 years of marriage, I'm not sure I can take it much longer. I've been thinking of filing for divorce. I think he understands your medical situation, but he does he seem like the open marriage type. Just talk to him again tell him what you told us about not wanting him to have a seller's life. Tell him he has your blessing if he ever wants to be with someone else in case it ever happens, tell him you guys don't have to discuss it anymore. He doesn't want to hurt you. If he ever decide to do it he would probably feel better, if you didn't know so your feelings wouldn't be hurt. Well therapy for sure but honestly if my wife had MS or anything that would cause us not to be able to have sex I would never open the marriage. Don't care if it's five years without sex. Yes I love sex but I would never ever break my vows even with permission. I couldn't even begin to think about it. Get checked for Lyme disease and other tick infections by an LLMD. I ended up finding I actually had Lyme after 10 years of an MS diagnosis. Go through all your options. My suggestion would not be an open relationship unless you are both poly. If he needs to get his rocks off the best way is a escort so there is no emotional involvement because true FWB relationships where feelings don't develop are few and far between. As a man I can promise, if my fiancé were to never be able to have sex again, I'd never have sex again. We men aren't all rabid sex machines. Maybe he loves you no matter what your condition. It is possible he just wants to make the best of time you have. I'm sorry op. My mother has MS and my father stayed with her, but it's rough on both of them. They love each other but the stress of it is terrible, and their mental health has suffered for it. What my mom did when she got the diagnosis was this. She gave him an out. She told him that their lives would change irrevocably and that she wouldn't hold it against him if he chose to leave her, but that he needed to make an informed decision. My dad chose to stay and they were happy for many years. I do think my dad has regrets. As my mom's condition worsened it was hard on everyone. But what matters is that he was the one who chose to stay. My advice is to make sure you show how much you love and appreciate him, because caring for a person with MS is hard and it will only get harder. It could be that he just doesn't want to open up the marriage. I know I wouldn't, even if it meant I could never be with my wife again. It might just be the way he wants to do this. If it is what he wants don't pressure him just say okay. I just want to compliment all the helpful and supportive comments I've read. MS is a very insidious disease, and not something you want to tackle on your own. Having a loving husband is wonderful, and you're very blessed to have him. I hope you can both get the expert help you need to make the most of every moment of every day. Listen to what these folks are suggesting and get started today. It sounds like you need to sit down and explain to him how, miracle cures, are found. Even if someone found a, cure, today, there are always like 10 years of clinical trials before a medication goes to market and gets approval from the FDA. First it needs to be tested on mice and other animals. Then even when it gets to the human trial phase they test for long-term effects. Then the FDA evaluates it themselves for a while. He's googled MS, trust me. What he really doesn't know, is how to openly agree with you that it's hopeless. He knows it's degenerative, but he can't talk end game with you. I'd drop it unless he brings it up. Just live your lives as best you can. If he wants to stay let him. I actually ended things with an ex because of her wanting to explore her sexuality while having cancer. I kept asking to stay with her she kept pushing away. Eventually I ended things I had become a caregiver and let her have her sexual desires. Seven years go by I am now married have a daughter and find out she has passed. Life sucks and things aren't always black and white. I know she didn't have anyone surrounding her when she passed, but then again she didn't want me there. If you haven't tried HBOT, hyperbaric oxygen therapy, do it. Pay for it out of your own pocket if you have to, it's not terribly expensive anyway. Fair warning, it doesn't work for everyone, and it may not work for you. They really don't know why it works for anyone, but for some some MS sufferers it's well nigh miraculous. 
My wife is one of those people. Fifteen years ago she could barely walk across a parking lot before HBOT. Now she routinely logs 15,000 steps a day, or more, on her step counter. Blow jobs or hand jobs and dates. Go on dates and that will keep the romance up. Pick once week a day that you go out to a restaurant or picnic or movie or walk etc. Food is an important part. You can have your doctor speak to him and inform him what to expect. If he enjoys receiving manual oral sex as an alternative to vaginal sex that's a possibility. Last but not least if you rather go without sex than hook up with other women that's his decision to make. Very few guys take their vows that seriously through sickness and in health. You're giving him permission hook up with other women due to your circumstances demonstrates your love. You shouldn't feel guilty when you've done all you can. He's with you by choice. You should ask your specialist about this. Her, his office most likely will have patient education materials and probably can set up a meeting with a nurse educator or clinical counselor. I used to be a hospital manager in a department that had a leg in a multi-specialty MS clinic. As for the last concern, that will need to be addressed each step of the way, over the years. Family counseling is very good these days. It is normal for family to feel the full spectrum of emotions. Anger, fear, sad, denial, courage, and so on. Start building a support network for you and also your family. Bless you and I wish you the best. You sound an amazing and wonderful wife hope you both can recover from it and you know sometimes holding on to hope just for your partner is true love and I am speaking for myself if I want to be someone ill just want her and no one else because she has my heart sex is important but emotions feelings have their own ways for us hope you both can live a healthy life. Apologies if this is unwanted or considered off topic, but I knew a young woman who was seriously disabled by Ms. and it was getting progressively worse, so out of desperation she tried bee sting therapy. I've heard it doesn't work for everyone but it worked miracles for her. Maybe you've already looked into this. Just wanted to make sure you did know about it. Random page from a quick search re bee sting therapy for Ms. Oh my heart goes out to you both. I wish I could offer some helpful advice. All I can do is wish you both luck x. Is it just PIV that's the problem, or are all kinds of sex too uncomfortable oral, mutual masturbation, just rolling around and rubbing up on each other, etc. My stepdad has Ms. I say stepdad but he has been more of a dad than I have ever had, story for another thread. My mom loves him dearly, like your husband loves you by the sound of it. Your husband has probably done the research and knows that at this time there is no cure. He loves you. I don't know your situation, but maybe stop trying to convince him you are broken, you are not. Love yourself as much as he loves you. Sex is not everything. Give me true love and no sex over. Sex-based love any day. Sounds like you have a keeper. Edit. Typo. You really can't force him to process it. He will need it in his time. My first though is actually to help facilitate your plan by having girls you think he might like come help him. That way they know each other, are friends, you know he won't be alone when you're gone etc. There is always hope. Don't green light your husband, you don't deserve that. This is when marriage can shine. My wife went through a bad case of GBS. She is better now. It wasn't a fun time, but it was fulfilling. You may not become better. But, allow your husband to fulfill his vows for the, for worse, this is what it is about. As much as therapy is usually never a bad path in these circumstances. You have to open up the avenue of communication with him, it may take him several difficult conversations for it to sink in for him. It's more important however that the sacrifice of a few hardships now will help lessen the hardships for both of you later. I sincerely hope all the time left together is nothing but joy and love. You both sound like wonderful people. There's a woman on YouTube who managed to overcome her MS with nutrition. Look it up and best of luck. You are unlucky in health but very lucky in love. Have you had him attend any of your medical appointments with you to learn more about your disease? If you open up your marriage is it something you can bear? Maybe workshops a support group? You have to brave so he doesn't see a doubt of fear in your eyes. Include him in everything. We have to go to the doctors. We have to reach out to a support group. We have to prepare for this. This is our time to get ahead of this.
we an hour. Even if he bolts, we an hour is stuck in his brain and it will help him cope with this illness and make him come back to you. I'm sorry you have MS. No one deserved an illness with zero cure or any way to delay it by years. I bet you can do other types of sex maybe that are less painful. I'm also sure there are posts on MS support group websites about navigating this issue in a marriage. So sorry for this condition. Maybe no cure but medication advances often outpace the diseases they treat. Good luck. 100% take him to couples therapy so that you can have a third party there and explain to him that you aren't going to get better. My wife is a dementia specialist so I know that there are great spouse support groups for dementia. I imagine, though I don't know for sure, that there are similar groups for MS spouses. I would highly suggest asking your neurologist about support groups. He should leave you. From tragedy comes beauty. Yours is a love of a lifetime. Therapy may help. Give him the permission that helps you. Being celibate may be what helps him. Lots of good comments and suggestions here. But, I'm just going to throw this out there and ask. Have you tried medical marijuana and or CBD oil for your symptoms? It may help you be comfortable with sex again for a while. You could watch the movie Time of My Life, 2012, together. Though might be depressing, but it shows the truth of the illness. Therapy 100%. MS support groups. There should be organizations through the hospital that can connect you, at least do here, i.e. brain associations, MIS, etc. I know here there's clubs here too for people who say, have brain injuries, stroke, injuries, disease, etc., where people and families can just go to have fun with other people with similar problems. There's lots of resources available. MIS is a pretty big life-altering event. Therapy and support groups can help everyone talk and share SND deal with your new reality's reality and prepare for your future, answer questions and find resources like assistance devices. Your husband must understand by now that stress is the single biggest factor that you can control when it comes to treating Ms. The stress that his denial is causing you is literally making your disease progress further. He is killing you faster by refusing to acknowledge the truth. You need to tell him that in absolutely clear terms, and then demand that he begins seeing a therapist to figure out how to accept and deal with the reality of the situation. I have fibromyalgia. And I feel this. Therapy is definitely the way to go. He needs to understand the disease. But he still may not want an open marriage and might not really care about it. If your relationship is soiled and making love is just a bonus in a relationship not the be. All end all in a relationship. I know Ms. Extremely Painful I'm a caregiver and I've taken care of quite a few clients have had it have you ever thought about fascia blasting? If you're interested I would look up Ashley Black Sasha blasting for women on Facebook and look into it. It's done really good things for my body after two care wrecks and two kids and I've seen reviews on women with MS heart.